Hey guys, it's Dr. Dobson. Uh, we're just going to be doing a filling in this video. Uh, this is a 4-4. Uh, this patient had a cavity in the tooth that went pretty well under the gums. So we're just going to be doing a gingivectomy, caries removal, and then restoring the lesion with a uh, Fuji 2 glass ion immer cement. Going to gingivectomy, caries removal, etch, bond the material, and finish it up. Um, so. We'll get into the procedure from the start here. There's the tooth. Um, most people seem to like the non-sped up and less edited and trimmed uh, format of video. So that's what I'll try to do going forward. So for uh, this procedure, we would have uh, probably just infiltrated um, the tooth with some articane for anesthesia and then waited about five minutes before getting to work and for um, access. I don't think you'd ever be able to do a good filling on a tooth in a situation like this without um, either an electrocautery unit or a laser. And I think that electrocautery is the superior technology for ablating gum tissue. Even though um, lasers are newer and more expensive, I personally have had much better experiences with electrocautery units because look at the tissue like it does not bleed and um, it cuts so much faster I don't know why people elect to use lasers honestly when uh, electrocautery units are available so um, once we have uh, good access gingivally to the uh, lesion we'll use a high speed um, for the gross reduction and then a slow speed for the fine reduction and this is basically just the part where we are removing soft tooth tissue until it feels hard um, to tactile sensation with the small slow speed handpiece. And I like to use the, uh, the small round carbide on a slow speed as my carries um, indicator basically um, to pressure. Sometimes we'll leave a little bit of um, affected dentin at the uh, at the pulpal aspect of the preparation just so that we don't have punch into the nerve. This is a very calcified um, tooth. There was no lesion on an x-ray. This is an old patient. It's opposing a complete upper denture. So um, this is really just trying to give the tooth um, some life uh, to uh, get this patient to the finish line. Um, once we have uh, removed the tooth decay, uh, sometimes we'll just go in with a little flame and kind of clean up the, uh, the margin that we're going to be bonding to. So we'll just take that into our little pseudosulcus and clean up the, um, the margin there. So that's ready to go. Um, you know, electric cautery unit works so well. You can take it all the way down to the bone if you need to. You're never going to get that kind of isolation with a cord or even a laser in my opinion. So we're ready to restore. We'll etch the surface of the tooth for five seconds with phosphoric acid, uh, rinse thoroughly, dry it, and then apply our Fuji 2 light cure material. And uh, I'll typically overfill the preparation and then pack the material in, kind of condense it a little bit with a moist cotton pellet. I think that if you can get a little bit of force on the material, maybe it bonds a little bit tighter and certainly covers all the margins fully without um, having to worry about voids when you go to uncover it. So we'll take our little cotton pellet and just kind of push the material up against the margins. And um, yeah, probably overfilled it very generously in this situation, but it's all gonna get trimmed back anyway. We will light cure the restorative material to set it and then get right to reducing the uh, excess material with a flame. So we'll take our diamond flame in this case on our high speed and just start whacking away the excess. I'm going to start to fast forward here and that's pretty much going to be going to be that one. So once we have the uh, restorative material back on uh, the tooth margin. We'll um, dry it, apply our coating agent, and then cure it. And that's that. 